Welcome back. We're here with another tutorial for the Mach 1 Spatial System. With this video, I'll show you how you can bring greater immersion and realism to your projects by using reverbs spatially. There are two main ways of using reverbs spatially, but feel free to experiment after watching this tutorial. So the first way is to use a single quad reverb that gets bussed to both the top and bottom of the spatial environment. The second way is to use two stacked and linked quad reverbs that individually are either for the top or the bottom of your spatial environment. For this to make a little more sense, I'll take you through what's happening in the I.O. The Mach 1 format uses eight channels, so I'll be referring to them as one through eight rather than what the Pro Tools 7.1 bus names the channels. So a quick way to think about this is that the top of your environment is channels one, two, three, and four, and the bottom is channels five, six, seven, and eight. So after you send signal to a single quad reverb, that signal has to be dispersed within the 8-channel environment, so we make an octo-sum bus to sum the reverbs and route them correctly. So with this knowledge, we can use a single reverb by pairing the top and bottom channels in the respective directions. So think of it as a pair between 1 and 5, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, and 4 and 8. With the dual quad reverb option, you don't have to pair any channels. Instead, they're sent to the respective top and bottom positions of the spatial environment. They're set up to function like one single eight channel reverb. We do this because as soon as you add a Mach 1 spatial panner to a channel, it turns into an eight channel output. So to send to a reverb without losing any of its spatial information, we need an eight channel reverb send that divides the audio properly into two quads for the top and bottom positions in the environment. So here we are in the I.O. and we've created an eight channel bus called hallway reverb. This hallway reverb gets divided into two quad sub buses that represent the top and bottom of our eight channel reverb. To get this to the spatial mix bus, we need to send these two quad reverbs to an eight channel sum bus that gets sent directly to the spatial mix bus. With the reverb we are using in this demo, it has a handy 3D link function, so all your parameters for both quad verbs will link, and more importantly, the top and bottom quad reverbs will be passing signal to one another properly, depending on the position of the sound that is bussed to this 3D reverb setup. What? Help! Help! Who are you? With you. They were all dead. It was bodies. Here, I just saw them. What did you see? Shit. Those scientists brought a telepath on board. That was their cargo. A telepath? Is that even legal? Legal? Legal doesn't mean anything here. I need to talk to the science crew. I'll come with you. So that's an overview of using the reverb spatially, but feel free to experiment and play around with your own reverb and effect configurations, and let us know in the comments if you come up with anything creative and useful.